Yeah. We had been a band for like two months. I'll never forget it. I mean, it was honestly still one of my favorite moments in my life. We all are probably going to remember this night for the rest of our whole life. <laughs> and I hope you guys will too. And, and, and like, we'll remember Philadelphia, you guys showed up. You freaking packed this venue. This is our first show ever, and you guys are here. So thank you so, so, so much. This is a family. You guys are family. I was nervous for that first show, but the crowd was amazing. So far, we have done three headlining U.S. tours. We just finished up our first ever headlining European tour. And then we've also done a couple radio tours. The first one being Taking You Tour. Um, it was a little club tour we did right when we became a band for like 50 people at night. <laughs> so then we went to something different tour. Um, we played a show for like three, 400 people. That was pretty crazy. Then we went to the Invitation Tour, um, where we did some venues I dreamed of doing, like the Novo in LA, PlayStation Theater in New York. We brought that to Europe and did our first tour in Europe, which was also insane. Um, and we did some radio tours. We did like Jingle Ball, uh, played Madison Square Garden, which still is just unreal. The best thing about touring, in my opinion, is the traveling aspect of it. Um, it's really, really cool to travel the country and travel the world and just get to see, you know, all the different cultures and uh, try all the different food uh, and just really get to see like how people live. The best thing about touring personally for me is seeing the fans, just being on stage and them singing back our music. Meeting people that I've seen online for years at times that have been supporting us and now I'm meeting them in person and really just getting to have a, like, an actual conversation with them. Handling the stresses of being in a different city every night um, was at first something you had to get used to. Um, you know, every morning you wake up and you don't really know your way around, you don't really know where you're going. Um, but you know, it becomes the lifestyle and you wake up every day with a new adventure. The energy at one of our concerts is always the best energy you could ever ask for. Everybody's always singing our lyrics and everybody's just their self. You don't have to be someone you're not at our show. A lot of fans uh, meet over the internet and they haven't met in, in, in real life. So when they come to the show, they actually meet each other in person and uh, are able to enjoy the show together. And there's something really special about that too. On the road, life is actually a bit, it's a bit harder than you would think. But uh, it's a it's a really good time. Our bus is here. She's beautiful. She's the phoenix. I am very organized, and you can't really be organized on the road. You can't really even have many expectations because every day is so different. Kind of just live out of a suitcase. It tends to get pretty messy when you have five teenage dudes on one bus. Overall, I just feel so blessed to be able to do what I love and I wouldn't want to be doing anything else. My favorite show we've ever played was probably on our past Europe tour. Um, it was in London. I just never thought I was going to do a show in London and then our first show there was for like thousands of people. Just like the coolest energy I think I've felt from a Why Don't We Show before. First time we ever performed together was an acoustic set in an ice cream shop in LA and not too many people showed up. Now we're selling out big venues all over the world. What stayed the same is I think I think just us as people and like who we are. Um, we're very down to earth and our families keep us very well grounded. What's changed is, is everything. We're doing a lot of things that we never thought we would. Thank you. Thank you for everything. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys and we worked so hard for you and we're going to continue to do that.